Hi Scorpio! Welcome to your love reading for January 2018. Um, this reading is going to be a little bit longer than they usually are. I wanted it to be super intensive because every morning um, over the last three days of this new year, I've been waking up with Ed Sheeran songs in my head and they're the positive happy ones, you know, like all of these love songs that are the kind of relationships that we want. So I see that as a positive omen and let's try to manifest this into our life. Okay, so this is for anyone who's a Scorpio sun, moon, or rising. I recommend that you watch Watch for your moon sign. If you don't know your moon sign, I have a link below in the description box, but you could use um, probably any internet resource to figure out what that is, or a book if you're old school. And then this video is also for anyone who is spying on a Scorpio. So let's get right to the good stuff. What is it that you're looking for in love in January? Well, you want to feel confident about your relationships. You want to feel good about yourself. It's almost as though you want to love yourself first because you're coming to realize that the more you love yourself, the more that that radiates out to other people and then the more that they want to love you, right? It's kind of like how they say, um, you know, the way that we love ourselves is the way that other people will love us or the way that we treat ourselves is how we are teaching other people to treat us. Now, that can be taken out of context, which is, which is dangerous. Like, for example, if you're in an abusive relationship, it is absolutely not your fault. You didn't teach that person to abuse you, right? But what I'm saying is, we're trying to harness this really confident energy. Um, you know, we're, we have this, it's almost like the Empress energy. It's not quite that. And by the way, I'm using the Lion Strider Tarot for any of you who are wondering. Um, but it's like this confident, exciting, exuberant energy so that we can attract someone who's exciting and confident as our match. Okay, does that make sense? Um, what else do we want in love in January? Um, so what we want to do is we kind of want to look at our past hurt and our past relationships and, you know, where those failed and view them as blessings. We want to say, you know what? Um, I really loved this person and you know or I really love this situation because this is for couples and singles so if you're a coupled relationship right now it is saying look at the pain in your relationship and if you're single it's saying look at your past relationships look at that pain and take away from it the lessons it's saying you know with the ten of cups in reverse had those things not happened you couldn't move on to a happily ever after, whether that means you left a relationship and now you're looking for something better, or whether it meant that as a result of whatever pain you experience in your current relationship, you realize things couldn't stay that way because that wasn't actually what you wanted from the relationship, so now it gives you a time to grow and build something different. So what it's saying is, in regards to love, your luck is going to change. You might not uh, witness all of the change in January. I guess we'll find out as this reading continues, but there will be deeper connections and bonds. This is going to be a luckier, a luckier year for Scorpios in general than 2017 was, but especially in love. Okay, so what have you already learned in love last year and before? And they're saying you've learned that sometimes cutting off communication with people is maybe the best way to do things. Um, you've learned that when things are done, they're just done, right? What do you need to talk to an ex for? I mean, really? Or what do you need to keep coming back to the same problem for and arguing it, about it? Does it make it better? It doesn't. And that's what you've learned. So you've learned to be really um, direct. And it's not to say that you don't give second chances, but you've learned to establish boundaries, and that is huge. And whether you're actually establishing boundaries in your relationships or, you know, with new people that you're meeting, at least you're aware of them now, if you're not, and that it is a need. So good for you. Um, are you ready for love? They say, you know what? You've gone inside, and you've really thought about a lot of things towards the end of the year. And yes, you are ready for love. Um, now, what do you need to do to get that love? They're like, you need to be able and willing to co-create love in your life. You might need to be the pursuer this month instead of like waiting for somebody to come and show up in your life. You might have to go out and find love. You have to co-create this reality. So um, how specifically should we do this? And obviously, um, in a personal reading, we could get more in depth with that. But for lots of Scorpios in general, 
what is it that we should do? And they say we need to um, examine ourselves really, like our, our thought patterns. And we need to say, okay, what are my limiting beliefs here? Because if I'm saying, oh, you know what, love just doesn't come for me, or I don't know how to meet people, that is a thought pattern that is actually a fallacy. It's more of an excuse that becomes your reality. Because the more that you have that self-talk, the more real that becomes. They're like, this is a limitation that you're putting on yourself, and it's not even a really universal limitation for you. This is a belief pattern that you've adopted and you believe, and it's not fucking true. So they say connect to spirit um, to find out, you know, the next active steps. But when you're aligned with your intuition, you're just going to know. You know, there's an archangel that um, I wish I could remember his name off the top of my head. Give me a second and I will see if I can find him quickly in this book that I have um, because we can ask him for help. And what this angel's job is, is he um, works to put people in the same place. Yeah, okay. Filial is his name. Filial is the, one of the angels of Venus, and he helps people find love. His specialty is creating desirable situations to help people meet each other. After that, it's up to the two people to develop a relationship should they wish. Um, so, essentially, what you want to do is you want to ask Filial for help. You know, and then when you have that gut instinct, like, that you should go to Target now as opposed to tomorrow to get your groceries or um, buy toilet paper, follow that intuition because that is filial, trying to put you in the same place as somebody else. But then you can't be, like, walking around looking at your cartwheel, trying to save deals and stuff like that. You need to have your eyes open. Because if you're not paying attention, even though you're in the same space, you're not going to notice each other. And that's the point, okay? So really follow your gut instincts this month because it could lead you to love. Now, if you're already um, in a relationship, what this is saying is that follow your gut instincts. Like you have this thought like, oh, I should do something romantic for my partner. I should buy them flowers or I should just, you know, send them a sexy picture via text message or whatever it is, however you show love. When you have that instinct, do it immediately. Because otherwise you put it on the back burner and you forget. And this is helping you to grow love. Okay? So, um, what kind of subconscious energies will come up in the month of January in regards to your love life? And we get the Page of Pentacles. So, this is like thinking about what do I want stability-wise? What kind of relationship do I want? Not in terms of love right? Because we're all pretty aware of that. Like we want somebody who's romantic and who's thoughtful and considerate and they perceive our need. But what kind of home life situation would I want? Like on the day-to-day -day basis, what kind of routine would I want? Do I want somebody who um, has their own place and they stay with me two nights a week? Do I want somebody who moves in and wants to live here forever? Like I need to examine those kind of things about what I expect in a relationship and it would be actually really powerful if you wrote those down um, in order to try to manifest those. So um, what kind of things can you do aside from gratitude journaling or aside from trying to manifest these? They say um, speak about this with others and then take actions that show the universe that this is what you want. So if you want somebody that you could create a good routine with, right? Somebody who's like totally reliable and dependable and there's no questions in the relationship. Set your own routine now. Do that. They say like there is some confusion as to what you want and what's important to you in a relationship. So how are you going to get through that? And they say try not to be defensive and really, really be honest with yourself and with others as to what you're looking for. Because this is a danger here, like especially if you're um, dating a lot of people or you're like online dating, that kind of a thing where it's like, okay, Here's what I'm looking for. Somebody says, hey, I'm a lot of these things, but I'm not these two things, you know? So then you go on a date with them anyway, and then you try to convince yourself that because they're five out of seven things that you were looking for, that maybe you could come around and those two other things, they don't actually matter. And they're like, no, 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 no. If you want to settle for less than you desire, then you're going to have the kind of relationships you've had in the past when they were less than what you desired. Get super, super clear on what it is that you want. Okay. And then they say also don't be defensive about that. Like you don't have to apologize for it. You want what you want and you deserve to have what you want. Okay. 
Um, what are your current blocks to love and how do you get past them? There is a little bit of a blockage to being open to receive love. So do you feel like you're worthy of love? Do you um, feel like it's a burden for somebody else to love you or to show you love? Make sure that you're open to receive um, love the way that others show it as well, even if it's not your love language. Um, and like in cases of physical touch, I wouldn't say that that is what I'm talking about. I just mean like if somebody offers to show you love by like an act of service and that's not your love language, like they want to clean your car, tell them yes, it's okay. Because you know why? They feel good about showing you love because they did that. Like they're giving you love, even though you might not understand it that way. They say it might feel a little unnatural, but um, be open to receiving love in multiple kind of ways. But then the trick is to also recognize it as love, right? Okay, so how are you going to ready your heart for love in the month of January? And they say, um, well, you're not going to be able to open your heart and ready your heart for love if these limiting belief patterns that we have are not addressed that I mentioned earlier, okay? So should you do that, <laughs> how are you going to open your heart for love? And then they say, then it's going to be easy and just avoid trying to force a soulmate connection or a deep love connection with somebody who doesn't meet all the things that you want. Now, as I'm making this video, it's 11, 11 a.m. So I am going to challenge you right now to make a wish for what you want because 11, 11 is a very mystical and powerful number and it's a number of manifestation. So um, think about what are those seven things that you desire in a partner, not only on a love level, but on um, a day-to-day -day routine kind of level, in a practical sense, write them down, okay? And then put a lot of love into, um, and trust actually, into feeling that all of these things are going to come to you and that they're starting to come to you in January. You could ask Thelio for help. Okay, how are you going to ready your mind for love? And they say, again, don't, don't take on like lovers and things like that that are clearly not right for you because you're just creating a blockage. Like you need to clear the space so that it's open for the right person to walk into. And if you're holding a space with somebody who isn't right for you, then the other person that is right for you is going to walk on by until that space is open, right? But otherwise, if you're not doing that, they're like, keep doing what you're doing and think about Again, it's very important for Scorpios in this month to think about practically, what do you want? What do you want on a day-to-day -day level? How do you want to feel every day? And what do you want your life to look like every day with a new partner? How are you going to ready your spirit for love? And again, holding on to those routines. They're saying you're going to look at your challenges and you're going to ask yourself, like, are these things worth it? You know, and if it is, absolutely go full force, balls to the wall with it. Um, they say sometimes we we really need to like examine how are we betraying ourselves in regards to our thought patterns. See, I think what's happening here with Scorpios is that a lot of us are feeling like, and I say us because I'm a Scorpio moon, a lot of us are feeling like, well, I just don't understand how. I don't understand how this kind of person could exist or how they could walk into my life or how I could meet them. But you know what? It's not up to you. It's up to God, the universe, spirit, Allah, whatever. Okay? It, you don't have to worry about that. Thelial is going to hook you up, girl and guy. <laughs> That's just how it's working. Okay. So what's the positive thing that you can do this month in order to find a partner or to increase love with your current partner? And they say go within and think about these things and then come up with an action plan. Be really excited. Put the love behind it, the enthusiasm, the trust that what you're looking for is coming to you. Like, you have to feel the passion. If you haven't read this book, um, The Power by Rhonda Byrne, this is a good example of what I'm talking about. You have to really be motivated and excited. And that might be the only bit of co-creation you have to do aside from following your gut instincts. Because it's not, I mean, sometimes in readings it says, you know, um, you, you get, uh, I had a personal reading not so long ago that was like, you need to online date. And they had some reservations. And it was like, specifically, you need to go on Bumble because your partner is there. I know that for a fact, that they're there and they're waiting for you. Um, 
and it was like a mental block that they had to work through okay um Long story short, I don't think that they did it because they do still have some reservations, but that, but they're going to come into contact with that person anyway, right? But at least now we know where they are. So anyway, um, I'm going to give you some positive affirmations for the month of January in order to try to attract love into your life. And what I get for you is relaxation as a theme. So you're going to say to yourself, I am developing deep inner calm and peace of mind. Yeah, because we need to not worry about how this shows up in our life. We need to trust that it is showing up in our life. I remain completely still for a minimum of three minutes. So, um, you know, just calm yourself. You can breathe some white light in from the top of your crown chakra all the way through your bottom, um, out your feet, and then surround yourself in this bubble. Now, once you've done that, I would encourage you to um, envision a magenta color kind of coming through your body because magenta is going to attract love into your life. And even if you're already partnered, it's going to attract more love into your life. And then we need to be open to receive that, though, as evidenced by the Four of Cups and Reverse card that we have. Okay. As I breathe in and out gently, I feel the presence of my body. And then I would also add to that, I feel the presence of love like a magnet to my heart chakra, okay? While I'm keeping my back straight, I am allowing my whole body to relax. And as I'm relaxing, I'm allowing all negativity to flow out of my body and um, like a magenta love energy to flow in through my heart chakra. And um, then I would envision myself like as a magnet and having all of these love energies coming at me, okay? So I hope that helps you find love in the month of January. Best of luck, love and light.